Hello, good morning, welcome back to another video, welcome back to another weekly vlog. Uh, how is everybody? Um, I didn't vlog anything yesterday and today is Sunday. Um, yesterday we went and got weighed and I lost one and a half pound which I am very very happy about. Um, Ian put on two and a half, or no he put on two pound. So I thought it was two and a half but it was only two. Um, and he was very very disappointed he didn't know where it had come from he didn't know what had happened because we did the same thing um we've been good and he just don't know what's happened so um i don't know whether it's a mixture of me having my issues and whatnot um and taking new stuff to help my gut and, and all that i really don't know i don't know um so um, we went to the calf with Jodie, the baby and Vin, as usual, uh, Saturday routine, and then we went and got our holiday money, um, we had to obviously get some euros, and then we went to, went to Home Bargains, uh, to pick up sort of bits and pieces that we need, like toiletries and stuff, so, um, I went and did that yesterday, sorry if you can hear the fan, but I am super duper hot um, and then we came home no we didn't we went to the garage for a little while um, <laughs> and um, Ian was helping uh, his friend with something and then this morning they didn't get that finished last night so this morning um, Ian has been picked up by uh, one of his friends to go and help him with whatever he was doing and then um, we are going to go to Top Golf again today so that is what's happened this weekend uh, not a lot but a bit if that makes sense um, I knitted a little bit on my top yesterday I took it with me um, and because it's such an easy pattern I don't actually need the chart to look at to know where I am I can read read the chart so I've got this much of this pattern done now which is quite a lot um, I think I've got an mm, am I there or so I've got one two three uh, one two three so that is about double so what I need to do I'm thinking of doing one more then trying it on and seeing um, and maybe um, seeing what my tension is like especially my um <sighs> this is i called um sign language it's not that that i'm looking for uh my length <laughs> that's what i'm looking for uh the length on um my tension basically how many rows um my tension is uh because obviously it's very out from the pattern but the width is okay um, so I need to, to have a look at that to see, even though in the pattern it says four and a half inches for the rest of the bit, but my not might not be that, it might be less. So, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Um, I probably won't get this done before we actually go, so it is a project that I am planning on taking away with me, uh, just to get it finished. Um, I really don't think I will get this finished. <laughs> um, I... What I need to do is try it on again, so, but it is living in this bag um, that I got from Timu really well actually, it closes and everything, it's, um, it's quite it's quite nice to just have it compact in that bag. Um, I didn't knit anything on my Radvent or anything like that, so, um, but the plans for this week, I'll just run you through what's what's happening. Um, today we're going to top golf with our friends. Um, we had such a good time last time that we decided to go again. So when you sign up to Top Golf, you get, um, depending on what package you get, uh, you get four games for free. So we used two two games the last time. So we're going to use two games today, depending on how long they take to play, and then we will um, maybe. Pick maybe buy another game or whatever but me and Ian really enjoy it so I think we uh, might go with Jodie and Vin uh, when we come back from holiday or whatever like 
I don't know, we'll, we'll decide. Um, but it is, it is great fun and it's a laugh. It's nice. And, and just to spend time with friends, that's what makes it more important as well. I've got a coffee on the go. Mm. So that's the plan for today. I don't know what time we're going to be home. We've arranged to be there at two. And the last time we was there, it took two hours to play the actual games, but we had to wait for one of the, um, do they call it lanes or whatever, to put, to come free. Um, and it might be busy today. You can't book in advance. Um, you can book in advance, but it has to be so many days in advance. Um, but we're not sure how many people are going as well, so we're just going to rock up. We'll probably get something to eat while we're there, and yeah. And then me and Ian are going to go and get weighed on Thursday morning. So we fly Thursday, but we're going to go and get weighed on Thursday morning, and we're going to be good for the rest of the week. Ian wants to do um, an SP slimming world plan which is just speed food and protein uh so that's like your meat and then like veg and fruit um and stuff like that it's no carbs at all because he wants to get his 10 stone he was so upset yesterday that he put on um but fingers crossed um we can be good for the three days we're, we're gonna be semi good today um I don't think we're going to get that much to eat while we're out, but obviously we will need to eat something. Um, so yeah, I'm not too fussed at the moment. Like I was so close to getting my four stone award and I really don't think I'm going to get that before Thursday. Um, I got two pound to go. And I don't think I'm going to lose that in like three days. So I'm not too fussed. Um, just because I know I'm going to put the pounds on when we go away. And then I can I can try and get that for when we're back. And that, and I, I can get it as a real thing. Not, oh I've got that. Then put it all back on. And then go back down to it again. If that makes sense. Um, so yeah. But uh, I've got... Um, appointment on Wednesday morning and then I've got uh, my hair my friends doing my hair on Wednesday afternoon I'm going to try and get my nails done on Tuesday so if you noticed in the last vlog yes I did take my nails off um, I shouldn't have done but I did um, a couple of them broke it just looked awful so I took my nails off and I'm going to get them done again on on Tuesday, hopefully, I'm going to ring tomorrow. I've just uploaded uh, last week's vlog, and I have, because it is the 1st of September, my birthday month, um, so my birthday is at the end of the month, Ian's birthday is at the end of the month, and I, we are away for my birthday, but we are back for Ian's. Um, but, yeah, September is birthday month, and... Yeah. <laughs> um, I am going to unwrap this yarn and this is the Soxie and You Know It Knit Along by Amanda from Little Lycac. Even though I'm pulling these yarns every month, I think I've only entered once or twice throughout the whole year. <laughs> I know, I'm really bad, but I just love the whole concept of pulling out a yarn, knitting on it and whatever. Um, so this is um, going to be September's yarn. I don't know what it is. I have picked this time because Ian wasn't here. Um, uh, shall we open it? Oh, let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> I think it's a Christmas colourway. It is called Art Deco Christmas. So it's this lovely red pinky colour. It's coming out pretty true to colour, to be honest. Um, but it don't have to be a Christmas colourway, does it? It is so pretty. Um, now, the problem that I've got with pulling out these yarns... Oh, this is by the Yarny Octopus. Um, I don't know how well that will focus. Um, and, yeah, it's 75% merino, 25% nylon. Uh, 100 gram is 100 and 425 metres. Um... I 
feel a bit sad about casting on yarn, hand dyed yarn and putting them into socks. But I'm thinking I could make, now I don't have many Christmas socks at all, like that I can wear throughout December. Um, and I do want to increase that. So I'm not that sad about this colourway because even though there there probably won't be Christmas socks, like it's just it's just red with a bit of speckly in it and whatever. But these could go in my sock my Christmas sock uh, bag. Um, anyway, I don't know what I'm saying. I just I don't know. Also, my niece Jodie um, would love a pair of socks. So I said to her, she has shown me some socks that Vin's family at, over in Albania has made Jodie, which I think is so sweet. It's And they are like bed socks. Um, and they've got like a lace pattern on them. They are beautiful. Um, but she said they don't really fit her toe properly because she showed me the socks and it's more like a pointed toe, like it's decreased all the way to the end not like a wedge like I would knit a wedge toe so I said to her I will knit you a pair of socks so the plan is to um, cast on a pair of socks with Jo I don't know um, she's got the same size feet as me so that's fine but I don't know what yarn to use just yet I might ask her what colour she wants them in and then sort of go from there um, but yeah, so this is really pretty. I could even get two pairs of socks out of this. So I'm going to wind this up. I'm going to cake it up. And I am going to be taking this away with me. Um, so I could even get two pairs out of this um, easily. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I still haven't picked projects for going away. That will be done in this video. Because I'm going to vlog probably up until... Wednesday and then get this uploaded on Thursday but I'll edit it probably Wednesday night I don't know we'll, maybe Thursday morning it depend. it really depend. no because we're getting, getting weighed on Thursday morning um it all depends I might even get it up while we're away so yeah and the problem with the memory card filling up is I just had too many videos and I just rambled too much because I've changed the setting on this camera the footage hopefully is a little bit better I've changed like the quality um, so I might have to get a bigger memory card for this camera I might have one this is only a 16 gig I might have one but I'm not sure um, I'll have to have a look and see but yeah I was really surprised that it filled up really quickly now now since I've been using this one again and set and doing you know I was like moaning about all the settings and having to change stuff that's when I changed the the settings on this and upped it a little bit um, so yeah anyway um, I'm taking both cameras with me so that's not a problem because I prefer to vlog on this one and when I'm out and about I prefer to use this one um, it's just got the little foam this is the foam thing that I was talking about the wind muff um, it's pretty good to be honest I really like it, the camera is still really usable with it the the other microphone is massive um, and it's brilliant don't get me wrong it's really good but um, I don't want anything too big and um, me and Ian was looking at getting the DJI um, mics you know the ones that you can clip on you and I'm like but why do I really use them like I don't know and they are quite expensive for something that I wouldn't use that much unless we're out and about which we're coming to winter so that ain't gonna be <laughs> that much um, so yeah Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling. 15 minutes in, I do apologise. Um, but I'm glad I've picked my yarn for that. Um, and basically, I'm going to drink my coffee. Ian should be home pretty soonish. We've uh, booked for 2 o'clock. Well, no, we haven't booked anything. We've agreed to meet at 2 o'clock. <laughs> um, I've just got some jean shorts on and um, this sort of floaty top. It's It's really big. Um, because it is really hot but 
it's really muggy it's horrible Ian said this morning he just feels damp um, and it is it is really like that at the moment and we've got thunderstorm warnings um, and I said will top golf still be open in the rain and I googled it and yes they are open throughout the year no matter what the weather um, and they've got like heated bars on the top so you can like push the button to put the heating on um, and unless there's severe weather warnings and obviously the wind is really bad the wet rain or whatever and it's dangerous then they'll that they won't open but they open all year round they've got a restaurant inside they've got a bar and stuff so it's more like some people might just go to socialize and have something to eat and so they can keep that open but anyway i'm really gonna go stop waffling um i don't know if i'm gonna get any footage today or not i'll take the little camera with me make sure it's got battery on it um but i don't know what the situation is going to be that's got 68 percent that should be fine um i'll put it in my handbag anyway and we'll see but uh yeah if not i'll catch you later um or tomorrow i'm not sure yet it depends on what time i get home and how much time we spend with our friends and stuff so i'm looking forward to it i really am hello it is monday good morning well good morning for me it could be any time of the day you watching this <laughs> um it's monday I'm up, I'm just getting some orders out that were placed over the weekend, thank you so much, I had an influx um, and I really appreci appreciate it. Um, so I'm just getting those um, engraved, so that's going to take me a little while this morning and then um, while I'm waiting for it to do its thing I'm going to uh, wind up some yarn and I also want to pull out some yarn uh, to do Jody some socks in so I'm gonna find out whether she wants sort of long socks shorty ish socks or like and what color really um, so yeah I'm gonna have a look at my my stash and have a look at the I might just knit them in the um, commercial yarns that I've got so I'll have a look to see what, what I have got um, also I was talking to one of my friends um, the other day my lovely friend Sue and um, also, <clears throat> also I was talking to someone else as well um, and I was talking about my Alpine Bloom top now I knit my Alpine Bloom which is here in front of me and I knit this with the advent um, that I had left over from Mandy from Mel Switch Yarns, um, the minis. I just sorted them out into like a colour gradient type thing. Um, and I don't wear it because I don't like the fit of the neck. I just, it just rides up and it goes like a tube onto my neck. Um, and so my friend Sue was saying that it could be because of the lace on it and it is quite a wide neck there's no cinching in of it or anything so um yeah I'm I'm not really a lover of it so what I've decided um with the help of friends is to take this lace back now the lace is knitted first it's not added on afterwards um, so I'm gonna have to cut a, cut a piece of yarn just after this eyelet row here and then pick up my stitches so basically cut it a little bit like an afterthought heel um, and then pick up my stitches as I go make sure I haven't dropped any um, and I'm gonna just do um, a rolled neck so knit like six or seven rounds in a much smaller needle to cinch it in and see how that is because I do love it like the colour work is beautiful it's so nice and if I can get this to work with how I want to wear it there could be a possibility that I would knit another one of her patterns now the only reason I'm not going to be knitting another one of her patterns is because a few people have said that most of her tops are designed that way 
and the nicks that's how the nicks are and I'm like no I don't my body is not that shape my body is not that shape um and like I don't know it just it just rides up on my neck it's I just feel like I can't pull it down enough um let me put it on over this top quickly and I can show you what I mean like the actual colour work is beautiful put you down a bit like look how nice that is it's so oh I love it so much um but it's just the neck like it sits fine like this like it looks really nice but then eventually it just like when I'm putting my arms up can you see how it's just it's like a roll neck um which I'm not a lover of and it it goes a bit baggy like it just goes a bit baggy so I'm hoping that if I can and I, I would prefer it this poor top's been pulled here there and everywhere I would prefer it if the neck was a bit more wider then it would, wouldn't be so baggy like but that's what I'm going to try oh, I don't know whether I'm going to try that before or after but I've left it out so I can I can go back to it um obviously I won't be taking this away and I was like this could be a really nice autumn top to wear like with jeans and stuff um because even though it's short sleeved sometimes you don't need long sleeves um and especially in October you can still get some warm warmer days not hot but warmer days um and I could pick any one of these colors to put a long sleeve t-shirt underneath so yeah I really do like it um, but it's just a shame that I don't wear it because I don't like the neck um, and I think it would do that on probably most people so yeah that's the plan is to do that at some point as well um, I do really I, I do really want to to change it up um, I gifted the things to my friend yesterday she was really pleased with them the little uh, elephant and blanket um, so that's done and now I, I worked a tiny little bit on my top last night I think I did two rounds I was so tired we was in bed by quarter past ten which is so early for me like so so early um, I was on my phone for a little while but not for long I was like I normally play a crossword game when I get into bed um, I was just so tired so yeah I went to sleep straight away uh, pretty much um, and then I woke up but I woke up about 12 and it felt like I'd had a whole night's sleep um, but I did I did manage to get back to sleep and yeah so anyway right so that's done that I need to just get the next thing engraving and then yeah it's so miserable out there grey sky it everything feels damp it's horrible it's 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 too warm to put heating on to get rid of the dampness well, I have got a, a humidifier so I might actually put that on but then if we've got the windows open is it just not gonna be like fighting losing battle I don't know. I have closed the kitchen and the bathroom windows actually because it's not cold but it's, it just feels damp. So I could close the windows and just put that on for a couple of hours. Anyway, I'm thinking out loud. I'm going <laughs> to get on with this. I'll show you any progress that I get up to uh, today and um, I need to go shopping to get a few bits for dinner. Um, we're very, very undecided whether we're going to be wading on Thursday or not. We've, we me and ha I did have a little uh, discussion with Ian yesterday I mentioned it basically that I don't want to get my four stone award before I go away because I'm only going to put all that I'm, I'm only going to put that weight back on and then when we come back and then I hit that four stone again it's going to be it's not going to be my real four stone if that I'm not going to get that certificate again and work hard to towards getting it again because I've already got it before um, and I know we really really wanted the awards before we went 
but it's a case of like it's going to be a false not it's not going to be a false way in but like <laughs> I don't really know how to explain it but I hope you understand what I'm saying that at the end of the day I want it to be a true oh you've lost four stone and then I'll keep losing if that makes sense or maintaining um and Ian said to me this morning I actually thought about what you said and it makes sense and I'm like yeah because you're gonna get like say for Ian, for Ian he's gonna get that 10 stone award we're gonna go away I'm probably gonna put on a stone because I normally do when we go away um but we're going away for three weeks I'm hoping I don't put three stone on but we'll see <laughs> um but you know you think we're gonna put that weight back on when we go away we're gonna to have to work really hard to get it back off again and when you when you are trying to lose that holiday weight and getting back into routine it's harder and because you've already hit that goal it's not like you're working towards something really because you've already hit it anyway yeah that's that was what like I was trying to say to Ian and he did say this morning it makes sense I think we're gonna be good the best that we can for the next three days so today Tuesday and Wednesday um, and then Thursday morning we're going to decide whether we weigh in or not um, it's going to be one of them we're not sure uh, but we want to be good we do we'd like we, we've got that in our mindset now and I think the other thing as well is that we're going to spend three weeks just enjoying ourselves eating what we want not worrying about slimming world um, so three days beforehand is not going to hurt do you know what I mean so we're going to be good I've been good so far we went out yesterday <coughs> Top Golf was really really good um, I'll put a picture here of who won the first round um, I won the second round as well but I didn't take a picture of it <laughs> we played three um, and I think I came second or third on the next one I think I came third actually um, I think I took a picture of that one as well um, but it was so much fun really it was so hot again though but it's humid and it's so hot and sticky and that's that's the problem it's the the humidity at the minute is just horrible um, it was good fun we we did get some food while we was there we got um, I got a hot dog Ian got like a pulled pork uh, sandwich thing they call it a sandwich I suppose because there's no burger but um, it was in a burger barn and stuff he got that and chips um, but we knew we was going to sort of eat that sort of stuff yesterday um, and then we didn't have no dinner because we weren't hungry so that was the only thing we ate um, and today we're going to have Ian's just bought some steak while he's been out and got his lunch and stuff so we're going to have steak for dinner um, I'm going to have some cereal soon actually because I'm a bit hungry so I'll have some Weetabix um, and I've been uh, I've been using that gut feel stuff so yeah just see how things go I've rambled for 12 minutes <laughs> anyway um, I will catch you up a bit later on with whatever progress or whatever I get up to and stuff um, but this week um, is going to be a busy one that is I think um, what we're going to do tonight I've packed I've sorted my clothes, majority. Um, Ian needs to sort his. I'm going to get in the loft later and get the suitcase down and the bags down and then we can lay them out here and then we can just pack, put stuff in the suitcase that we need and then we can start organising where stuff needs to go and putting it in the uh, packing cubes and stuff. So, yeah, um, and I need to do ironing. <coughs> All the joys. So, yeah. That's that. Right, I'm going to go and I will catch you up later.
that was a bit of a pig to uh, skein up, to be honest. Um, so I'm going to re, re cake it because this is just a mess, and I don't, I don't really want it to be a mess. I don't want it to be tangled. But what I'm going to do is I do have a yarn cosy, so I'm going to re skein this, not re skein, re ball this, cake this, whatever, <laughs> um, and then put it straight into a yarn cosy because. Yeah, this is just a mess and I don't really know what happened to be honest, so I don't know. Um, I'm going to, I really love the colour though, look at how pretty the colour is, it's so nice. So yeah, um, I've got the laser going, I've got, it's going to take two hours to do the laser in. Um, so I'm going to do this and then I might sit down and do a couple of rows on my top. Um, I can't go out obviously until that's finished. I've been waiting for a parcel as well, or oh, a couple of parcels. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, and really what I should do today is sort out what I'm gonna take away with me. I might do that, have a look at my list and decide what I wanna take. Might be a plan. So after I've done this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort, yeah, I'm gonna, sort out I'm gonna do this and then sort out some projects so I'll let you know what I decide to take okay so I have whittled my projects down to three bags so far that's not including the love letter top or the socks that I've just uh, or not the socks the yarn for the socks that I've just wound up um, so the first one um, and they're all small bags and that's why I've sort of chose these ones um, the first one is uh, my Ripple Bralette, so this is how far I've got on this. Um, it is just literally um, a rib at the moment and I am knitting this with a mini for the rib and then this for the main body. I'm doing a bigger size on this one because my last Ripple Bralette was a bit small. I think it'll be okay as a like bralette underclothes but it's too small to go under my dungaree thing um, I didn't do the body long enough um, but that's not a problem so I'm knitting another one uh, this is Mouse Witch Yarns um, it was the year of yarn for October last year um, so that's the first one these are all possibilities at the moment they're not I'm not 100% and then the next one is uh let's open this one first is my no let's open this one <laughs> is my um uh get set go shawl so this one i've only got these were all just cast on at the party um the cast on party so i've got this much um and then obviously this is a yarn by knit joe knit so um, in colourway out of this world um, so yeah that's that one uh, with a really long cable then I have a bag here that is just full of yarn um, I say full it's not full full but it's and a, need, and a needle um, but it's all my cotton to make the uh, dishcloth patterns by the kitchen sink shop now I've only made one I know we're in September now and I've only made one um, but I thought this would be a great thing to take I have um, four full balls and then I have the leftover from the last um, dishcloth that I made that once I've used all these four colours I could probably stripe a couple, one or two maybe with whatever's left over um, and that way I can just take the bag with the yarn in, the patterns are already on my phone because I keep them, I get them emailed to me every month and then I keep them in a folder so I can just use it off of my phone um, so that is another one that is a possibility. I've obviously got my uh, love letter top that I want to get finished but I don't think I will um, and then I've got socks. I know that's a lot of projects. I know I'm going on holiday and I know that I probably won't get a lot of knitting done but 
in the evening or in the morning, like if we have a relaxing day, I will want to sit there and do some knitting and some easy plain knitting. So that's why I'm thinking of taking socks because easy round and round. And then other times when we're sitting there of an evening, if we've gone back to the room and we've got like a takeaway to take back or whatever, um, I'm thinking that I could sit there and just knit, watch a bit of YouTube or a bit of telly. We do have a telly in the room um, and stuff. So that's the plan. That's what I'm planning. We are there for three weeks. So it's not like we're just there for a few days and we've got so much to cram into a few days. Um, it's a whole thing of relaxing, enjoying and just go taking each day as it comes. We've got a few plans, not many. Um, Malta is a very, very small island. It is 15 miles by 7 miles wide. Um, so it's not massive. We've seen a lot. And we do repeat stuff that we do anyway. So, um, yeah, but that's the plan. That Hopefully. Um, I'm not 100%, like I said, um, things might change. Um, <sighs> Me and my friends have been talking about cross-stitching. I know. I know. Another rabbit hole. And I have had this cross-stitch in my whip basket. I call it basket box. For... Since I started it, really. Which was a long time ago. And I've never really spoke about it. But it's a cross-stitch that... I haven't got a front cover, but if I hold it far enough back, you're not going to see the actual chart. Um, it's a picture of a beach scene, um, and I haven't got a lot on it, to be honest. Um, I've got everything in this little bag, so it's very small. Um, that is how much I've got. Not a lot. Um, so this is another thing that I could possibly take if... I fancy it. It all depends on what room we have as well. So, um, this is not going to take up hardly any room. Look how flat this is. <laughs> um, so, this might be another thing that I take with me just to get back into a little bit of cross stitch. Um, I'm not perfect at cross stitch. I did cross stitch many, many years ago when I was a teenager, more than since I've been an adult. Um, so, that could be another possibility. Um, like I said, over the next few days, I'm going to swap and change things probably and see what room we've got and the weight allowance, obviously. So, yeah. But they are what I am planning on at the moment. Um, right, I'm going to tidy up the mess that I've made and um, put the yarn winder away. Um, and Swift and get some knitting done. I'm wobbling the table, aren't I? Trying to get this off of here. Um, so yeah, we, I was plan I was ha supposed to have Amelia um, this afternoon, uh, so Jolie could go to the nail shop, but um, she's not well. So uh, she said it's better for her not to bring her here because I don't want no sickness. <laughs> not three days before I go away. Three days. <gasps> It's Monday, we go Thursday, that is like, I don't know, it's, it's finally dawning on me that it's coming up so quick. Um, and when we go to my mum's, it's a little bit different because, like, we've been quite a few times this year to my mum's where, with Malta, it, it is different. Oh, I'm just really looking forward to it. <laughs> Hello, good evening. It is Tuesday and... I am just going to come on and show you some things that I have decided. <laughs> um, today I went and got my nails done, they're nice and pink, um, but let me show you this first. This is my um, love letter top. So a few people in the comments are um, just leaving comments to say that it's the love note. It's um, is the love letter top so I don't know whether I've been saying it wrong um, probably knowing me <laughs> but it is the love letter top um, it is on Ravelry and if I remember I'll leave it linked below so I have now added all of the extra length in this pattern and now I just need to do the last chart and then the rib so 
that's that um, and then I've decided to cast on two pairs of socks so uh, one pair is going to be for my niece Jodie and she chose the yarn I basically FaceTimed her and said choose out of this box what you want um, and she chose this which I don't know the yarn because it was from um, a yarn sale that the local knitting group here had a little while ago um, and it was a pound a pound for two 50 gram balls of the same yarn and they were actually wound up into 50 gram cakes at exactly the same point so that was already done for me so then I decided to um, do two at a time which I've got in a tangle now haven't I yes never mind <laughs> it's because I've put it in that bag so I've done um, I've cast the cuff on on separate needles and then when I do the first round of the, the leg I then joined it onto the same needle um, I'm using a knit pro zing which I didn't realize until now that they are quite blunt um, but they're working fine no problems I'm knitting them fine and the cable I think because the cables that I'm using at the moment are the mindful cables they've got a bit more memory or maybe no memory if that makes sense like they're quite straight and they don't curl or anything like this these curl quite a bit um, but I'm not having any troubles with it so I'm just rolling with it the yarn is lovely I don't know what the colorway is um, I don't know who it's by but this is what it looks like and um, this is the colourway. I'll show you again in, in daylight but that's what that looks like. It is really really lovely. Um, and then I've decided to cast on the Christmas colourway that um, I pulled out yesterday, day before, day before, um, the Yarny Octopus one and I'm just going to do these um, singly. I've done a one by one twisted rib for the cuff. I'm going to do between 15 and 20 rounds, I'm not sure yet. Um, it is just one by one twisted. Um, I've pulled the middle out of the cake, so um, I'm going to carry on and just finish this tonight and get the cuff done. So then that's just a ready made to go project, um, as well as them, and they are two that I am definitely going to take away um, just so I've got some socks on the go and I was talking about taking other bits away uh, one being the dishcloth yarn the ripple bralette and the ready set go shawl um, I've had a bit of a rethink about all of that just because I think it's too much and I'm now thinking of taking them two socks with me or well, them two pe that, them two yarns to make the socks my ripple bralette because if I get that finished I could possibly wear it and I don't think it would take too long and it's just easy round and round um, and then maybe a cross stitch I know <laughs> um, so I have got this cross stitch let me quickly get the picture of it up um, already on my Etsy I did buy it from Etsy quite a while ago but it is this here will that focus without my face being in it um, and it is a scene of Valletta in Malta so I it, this was already kitted up I kit this up I can't remember how long ago it was a while ago I have got the um, Ada, I've got the chart, I've got the, got the hoop and I've got all the yarns, now all the, not yarns, the floss, 
all this floss is from stash but I've managed to get all of the colours that I need and I put them um, on a card to, so I know like what colours they are and stuff. Um, I have got quite a stash of cross stitch floss because I used to cross stitch many 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 years ago quite a lot and I acquired quite a bit from friends and um, Ian's sister used to cross stitch she gave me a great big tin um, so I've just got a stash <laughs> of cross stitch thread and I've managed to kit this up so um, yeah that is one that I've got here um, I have got another one here I've got a couple actually let me show you the couple of, have I showed you this? I don't think I have um, so I've got this one here which I think is a little bit too advanced for me at the moment I know you just take a little bit at a time but I honestly think that there's a lot going on in that one and I have got this one as well which I've managed to put where have I put that in that bag? I don't really know. <laughs> I've got this one here, which is kitted up and living in my Halloween bag. I don't know why, it's just a bag that I had. Um, and I have got the smallest amount on this. That is how much I have got. You can see where it's been in the hoop for quite a while. I've recently taken it out to um, put in the bag for the mortar one. So, yeah, that is that. Um, I'm thinking of possibly washing that Ada. It might soften it up. That's what I might do, just give it a rinse. Because um, even this is really stiff. I could wash both actually because there's only a few stitches in this um, and just soften it up a little bit so yeah and in here I've got um, a Winnie the Pooh one that I did start many 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 years ago and never finished it was supposed to be for my niece who is now 14 I know um, it's supposed to look like this um, again this is all kitted up on these cards um, and this is what it looks like um, I won't be taking this and I, I don't have the urge to do any on this at the moment I might do eventually but not at the moment so I am thinking of just taking that mortar one with me and getting some done on that because I have got it dig digitally and I have got it printed out here so I can just mark off each row as I go or each stitch as I go um, so yeah um, I don't really know why that's in there I should put what this is in there I'm going to rinse that I think um, is what's in here oh it's in this bag that's why okay yeah I'm gonna leave that in there so that's the plan I haven't cross stitched for ages um, and me and my friends were talking about it the other day and I was like hmm I've got a cross stitch that I could do so that might be the plan um, and especially it being hot on holiday well I want yarn in my hands and stuff where with a needle I can just mm. anyway so that's the plan for stuff to take away um, and obviously I want to take that top with me because I want to get that finished so that will be um, four projects but two very very small and one that's nearly finished so I'll probably get that finished in the first few days hopefully um, so that's the plan that's the plan so far um, tomorrow I am going to get my hair done 
I'm going to get my roots done and have my pink put on. It's very, I don't know, it's very, it seems very bright in this light. Like, it's not, I think that bleach bath did do it some good. Um, and then hopefully the sun will bleach it up a little bit more as well, naturally. So, um, I've just come off of my members Zoom, so thank you to the ladies that joined that. It was fun, I enjoyed it. Um, if you want to be a part of my uh, members, you can go over to my Kofi and go on there and you can see um, how to join. There's different tiers um, and uh, on certain tiers the monthly members Zoom is available. Um, I am thinking of doing as well a monthly open Zoom, so uh, just once a month maybe having an open room uh, that anyone can join, so any of you guys can join free of charge, just come and have a bit of fun uh, with us and knit, crochet, cross stitch, chat, you don't have to do any craft, you can just come on and have a chat with us um, and yeah, so let me know what you think about that, just having um, a Zoom maybe once, once a month um, and coming and chatting and having some fun so that is what I'm thinking um, when I come back there will be some new products going into the shop um, I'm going to do a little bit more like designing and stuff like that while I'm away I'm excited about that and um, that will all be done when I get back um, so it'd be like Halloweeny stuff and then obviously the Christmas stuff and bits and pieces so yeah, uh, there will be stuff going on when I get back and I'm going to use the time away to, like the, any downtime that we have. Excuse me, Pepsi really makes me gassy. Like, burp. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to use the time to design and research and stuff like that. So I'm going to take my iPad and my pen my apple pencil and stuff so anyway I'm going to tidy this up I'm going to finish that cough um, put some YouTube on and I will see you tomorrow with any progress that I've got I'm hoping that I can obviously get that cough done that will be that will be okay um, and then yeah I haven't done any more on my Radvent I probably won't now it probably just be put aside because tomorrow a pretty busy-ish day we've got to finish packing as well and then obviously Thursday morning we are going to be getting ready to leave so everything will be packed away by then so yeah that's that anyway I shall see you tomorrow hello good morning it is Thursday I didn't record anything yesterday um, it was a busy day very very busy uh, Tuesday was busy as well um, did I record anything on Tuesday? I can't remember. Uh, so I went to get my nails done Tuesday and then what else happened? can't really remember but I went and got my nails done. I think you've seen my nails, I'm not sure. Um, and then Tuesday evening I caught one and it just dug it and I was like no! <laughs> like not the same day um so yesterday morning uh i rang the nail shop and said have you got time just to uh, fix one of my nails and a pedicure so um yesterday i went and had my hair done as you can see um my friend vic um plaited it up for me um so i haven't got to worry about it today and i will probably take it out of these plaits tomorrow um and then leave it curly for a couple of days and then give it a wash or whatever. Um, and then I went and had my nails done late last night. So I had my nail repaired, I had a pedicure and um, had my toenails painted the same colour as my nails. My nails and hair are very similar. I feel like a boiled egg at the moment. I've got no makeup on or anything, it's really early, it's ten past eight in the morning, I've been up for quite a while, um, Ian's 
gone to work. But today is the day we're flying and I haven't edited anything yet. But I am taking the laptop with me, I'm taking my cameras with me, so I might get edit something edited um, at some point. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and get that uploaded this week. So you'll obviously be seeing this whenever that happens. Um, but it is, um, it is early, like I said. Uh, my sister is taking us to the airport. She's bringing the boys along um, because the boys are in the in the the transition of moving schools. So um, yeah, they they I think they're going to come with her, so I can give them a big hug. Um, and then yeah, we're going to be off. We are packed, other than a few bits and pieces that need to go in our hand luggage. Um, but suitcases are packed, my projects are packed, um, so I have decided um, to take with me my cross stitch, uh, the mortar one, I've taken the ripple bralette and the two pairs of socks and my cross heel top, not cross heel, my love letter top because um, I'm so close to getting that finished and once that's finished I could possibly wear it and I could easily block it there, like I'll just um, give it a rinse and then put it on the bed or something. I obviously won't have pins or anything, but I think it'll be fine. Um, and uh, yeah, so that is what's happened over the last couple of days. It's just gone so quick. Um, I need to sort out um, a few other little bits and pieces as well, like um, jewellery. My makeup I've already, already packed what I want to take. Um, I don't think, I'm not taking a lot because there's no point, it's going to be hot, um, so I'm just going to take a few bits and pieces, but jewellery, I want to take like some earrings and maybe a couple of bracelets and stuff, so just if we go out, and plus it's my birthday while we're there, so um, we're going to go probably go out for a nice meal and uh, celebrate Ian's birthday as well so we can do both of our birthdays at once even if it's not on the day like if we decide to do something else we can go out for a meal for both of our birthdays um so yeah that's the plan um the suitcases um they're not even full up but they're at weight <laughs> that it just baffles me that you can put 20 kilo in these cake like well the airline says maximum 20 kilo but you can fit so much more um i tr did look to see if i could add some kilos because sometimes you can get up to 23 kilo um but we're flying with ryanair and i think it's just 20 kilo so there's loads of room but it's just the weight um and i've got a few other bits that i need to put in the bag but it's like always when we go away we have like toiletries and stuff and I think that is the heaviest bag to be honest um, the toiletries um, like shampoo conditioner shower gel um, we've got deodorants in there and all that and sun creams and stuff so all that's gonna not come back with us as full or at all um, so yeah um, I'm just I'm really looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. But this morning I have been um, browsing Instagram, as you do, and I'm in two minds whether I am actually going to be doing the Stephen West MCAL this year. Um, so it's nothing to do with what happened last year or anything like that. I love my um, Geo Gradient. I love the colours that I picked. I do have the original clue one uh but the way that i wear it not that i've worn it yet <laughs> much um is handkerchief stuff uh style round my neck so you don't really see that that middle section but i have a lot of shawls that i don't really wear like a lot of um and i know it's a whole big thing and a lot of people do the Stephen West shawl, the knit along, knit along and stuff, but um, I don't know if you know, but there is um, a shawl pin that comes with the kits that Stephen's sending out, and that is the, um, gives you an idea of the shape 
of what the shawl's going to be. Um, I'm not going to say it just in case you haven't seen it, but um, yeah, it, it's giving you the shape of the shawl. Um, it's shawl shaped, it's nothing strange or anything, um, but I just don't need another shawl. Um, and I've got lots. <laughs> Yes, I like knitting and stuff. So, I have seen on uh, Instagram today that, let me see if I can <coughs> get it back up. Um, probably not, but we will have a look. Um, so, Telly Bean Knits um, does a mystery knit along. I think she did it last year. I don't know how many years she's done it for, um, but I know she did it last year. And she do, she's doing another one this year. It's called Witch's Brew MCAL. Um, so this is the front picture. Oh, that's really bright. Turn the brightness down a bit. So this is the front picture. And this was last year's, I think. Um, and then this is just like... A, oh, that's blank. Um, this is another one of her Halloween patterns. So there's there's a few like... Halloween patterns there so you can get an idea of what's going to go on. It's um, 13 clues over 13 days and it starts on the 1st of October. So I know the Stephen West normally runs for the whole of October. It's like four clues once a week. But I was thinking that... I would really like, I like cows, cows, I like cows, <laughs> they're easy to wear, they don't fall off, you can put them under a coat and stuff, um, I love my shawls, don't get me wrong, but the other one that I really, really want to make is, um, if I can find it, I didn't realise, I already had it in my library, and there's another one there that I've got in my library that I didn't realise I had as well, Terrible, isn't it? Um, where is it gone? Um, aha. Uh -huh. So, there's another one of hers that I really, really want to knit. And I have been wanting to knit this for the longest time. But I've just never got round to it. Um, and it is called the Venomous. It's another cow. And it's this one. It is so lovely and I think what makes it all the better is the colours that is actually in on the pictures on the um, design on the like the front picture <laughs> um, there's lots of other posts of different colours and stuff like the orange and black is really nice as well like very Halloween-y um, but I just love that pink and the dark grey now I've got black yarn, a uh, sock yarn that I could use and I've probably got a pink that I could use uh, so that is hopefully going to be in my future um, so I'm, I, prob uh, I probably definitely that they, them two sentences shouldn't be in the same, no them two words shouldn't be in the same sentence but I'm just thinking that this year I don't want to be in the Stephen West hype I don't want to be knitting a shawl. I'm just not feeling it. I don't know. And um, plus, because we're going to be away, and it starts like is it the fifth ish of October? Um, I just, mm, I'm just not feeling it anyway. So, I am thinking of uh, getting this. Uh, MCAL pattern. It is 50% off at the moment, which makes it about £3 something in pounds. Um, so, I'm thinking to do that, and you need six colours, but you need, um, I think it was like 50 gram of each colour. So it's not too, and you could easily use scraps, um, because I think each, each bit is going to be different. So you could like get a load of Halloween colours or colours that you really, really like um, 
like minis and just do each bit a different colour. That you don't have to have a hundred grams of a colour. I'm assuming that anyway from her last last year. Um, I haven't bought the pattern yet, so I haven't seen the uh, preparing page or anything. There's a there's a page that she sends out with all the notes and stuff. Um, so that is on sale until the 11th of September. So <laughs> I'm thinking of buying that. And possibly casting that on on the 1st of October so we're back on the 26th of September and that will give me plenty of time to sort out some minis or some yarn I've got the cakes as well you know the uh, acrylic four ply cakes that um, I bought ages ago I've got those so um, I've got a lime green an orange a yellow um, I've got black yarn like I said um, so I'll just need like two more, but then I'm sure I've got minis that I can put in with that, uh, depending on what the pattern is for that day. So, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's absolutely tipping down with rain. This happened the last time we flew. When we went to my mum's, it was absolutely pouring down. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, that's the plan. I need to do some tidying up here and just like, you know, I need to sort out the fridge. I'm going to give my sister a, a bag of stuff that's in the fridge that we haven't opened and whatnot. I normally do that anyway. And stuff that's going to go out of date, I just give her a bag of food and say, yeah, I'll take that with you. <laughs> um, so I'm going to do that. I need to tidy up with bits and pieces. My watch didn't charge last night, which was really annoying. I've got that on charge. Um yeah so I'm just waiting for Ian to get home because he had to go to work this morning um, I don't know what time he's going to be home if it's going to be soon or what not um, oh I think he's is he at home now? oh no oh I think he's on his way so I'm going to do some pottering around tidying up, getting stuff ready so we can just walk out the door and leave, that ain't going to be for a few hours but just you know just so you know you're ready um, and that's it so yeah thank you for watching this vlog I will be vlogging the holiday like I said it won't be every day it will just be bits and pieces um, but I'm sure I will get a vlog together at some point this battery is flashing so I'm gonna have to change it to the other one um, that I have packed <laughs> it's not far anyway thank you so much for watching and I shall see you all in the next video bye